Okay, so today we're gonna do a little bit of warm up as usual, of course. Then we practice some snatch movements and technique with our wooden pole. And then, of course, we do Metcon, which is gonna be around 24 minutes, depends how fast you do it, okay? But at most, let's say at most 24 minutes. And then a little bit of accessory work at the end, nothing too terrible, but it's all like snatch sort of things today. So the warm up, it's gonna be one minute, okay? Just a one full minute of passers, okay? Trying to make sure that we get all the way back here with full grip for us. If it's possible, try not to let your hand hold on this way. And, and slowly, as the men um, passes, we move our grip slightly narrower. So we get an extra stretch. Okay, so I'm just gonna set the clock for one minute. If you're all ready with our ball, it's gonna be just a nice little quick minute because we're gonna need shoulders to work really well today. 10 seconds. Two, one, and go. Okay, so straight arms and full grip. Okay, so think about squeezing the bar when it goes all the way back. Coming around, grip tight, okay, and keep it tight as you go. Huh? Nice. That's easy. But we don't need it. We then set just for a second aside our pole and we go into the general warm up. Which is going to be a five minute arm wrap. Now, arm wrap quotation marks, okay? It's not really like as fast as possible, just you keep going for five minutes. And you do five push ups, which they can be, I mean, they can be done on your knees, but it's warm up. Close, totally up to you. Going into six inch ones. Come straight to be warmed up and stretch and warmed up. Take your time, make sure that you stretch before you put your weight in your hands. Okay, now just dive forward. Then seven leg raises. Pay extra attention for your knees to be super straight. Okay, the rest of your elbows here. Squeeze on the way up and down. Seven leg raises and eight down ups. Okay, so Five push ups, six inch worms, seven leg raises, eight down ups, and you keep going for five minutes. Okay? Yay. 10 seconds, starting with push ups. And go. Take your time, this is a warm up. Okay. Make sure that full movement, full range of motion.
Seven leg raises, resting on your elbows or that. That's okay, it's fine. Same, same, very similar thing. The focus here is no bending knees, okay? So we pull our legs as high as possible without bending the knees. Hmm? Okay, we still have three minutes. Okay, there's no rush. Going into your second round, if you need a little drink, we're just waking up muscles, guys, right now. And have your elbows on the ground, maybe if it makes it better. Yeah, like that. Nice feet together, straight knees. Let's focus on quality, really good. Almost there. Okay, five minutes gone. So we'll catch your breath. This is your general warm-up sorted. Okay, we're now ready for action. So, the first part is snatch practice. We're only gonna go through this three times. Um, it's gonna be two minutes of work each time, so it's not, not terrible, okay? So we're just gonna practice with the movement. So, four movements. All snatch related, so basically breaking down a snatch. This is the width of the bar, That's, so you should pretty much be at 90 degrees, okay? When one arm is up, the other one is straight, okay? More or less, okay? Doesn't have to be exactly, but that's a good point of reference. Good. 
Just make sure that you don't do it with a loaded bar, and you would be, you actually would be surprised how many people did it. But anyway, so it's going to be timed, okay? You know about reps. So 30 seconds of snatch deadlift, meaning that hip width, okay? Your stance is hip width, so not a squat like position. So here, you come down. Straight back, try to keep your shins as bare as those possible until you set here. Not sitting, okay? My hamstrings are under tension. So basically, my shoulders are just above the bar, uh, coming up here, but keeping the bar in contact. Okay, so it's nice and controlled, doesn't have to be slow motion. Making sure that it's nice and controlled. A very good parameter to see if you're doing it right. It's not the only thing, but a very good thing is look at your shins. Well, feel your shins come comfortably. Okay? And they should be there. If your knee goes forward, you're doing it wrong. Okay? Straight back, 30 of Perfect. Then, after this 30 seconds, we hold. At the bottom position, so at the most uncomfortable position you can have a single in your life. Okay, 30 seconds here. Then, it's going to be followed by 30 seconds of hand power snatch. Okay, 30 seconds of practice. This is what it is. So from the knee, so just above the knee, okay, above the knee, slide down. Okay. Slide down. That's what we do. And 30 seconds of forward squat practice. Okay, coming down straight position then, all the way up to forward stretch. Let's see how the first round goes. So I'm gonna set um, the timer for four 30 seconds um, bits, okay? with no rest in between. So the transition between the stick four movements should be immediate, okay? All round, second, no rest. Right, 10 seconds. We start with deadlifts, okay? Three, two, one, and go. Shoulder blades squeeze together. Very good. So even though your shins are vertical, you want to still have a nice posture with your shoulders and back, okay? So don't sacrifice strength for flexibility. Okay, three, two, one. Hold at the bottom. Yep, there. Don't let your chest cave in, okay? Up, 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 pop your chest out. Very good. You hold it for 12 more seconds. And the next one is gonna be hand powers. So from above the knee, up here, focusing on speed. Three, two, one, hand power snatch. Straight arms, punch up. Good, practice it, okay. From above the knee. Above the knee, so half time. Okay, all right squats. Okay, imagine that bar is really heavy. Cannot go forward, cannot go backward. Maybe one more rep. And rest. Rest, 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 rest. Very good. 
So that's the first one. Thank you, went pretty well. We're going to do it two more times. Couple of things before we start again. So, first of all, um, when we hold the dead at the bottom of the dead, it's always going to be uncomfortable because the project is white. Okay? The wall is narrow. It wouldn't be that much of a hassle, but because it's white, we have to reach the same depth, but it needs to be way more stretched up. Okay, so imagine you're about to lift a very heavy weight. That's not how you do it. Okay, so you're almost ready to lift it. And second, hand snatch starts from here. Not from here, okay, so we bring the bar on the way up, slide a little bit down the side, then there's a hip extension and stretch up. Okay, round two, ready with deadlifts. Ten seconds. Three, two, one, let's go. Let's snatch. Good. Control always the bar to be close to you, like exactly sliding on you with a pull. Really good. Nice day, you like a shrug. Okay, hold at the bottom. Good, let's not sit back, okay, we're, we're almost like about to lift, okay, we're like, but we're not lifting it. Very good, stay solid. Three, two, one, hand snatch. Nice. Good. Remember that if the bar was heavy, you have to make sure that your catch is solid. Ready for overhead squats. And go. That's better, David. Good. Good. That's better one. Long reps. And rest. Okay, little shake off, and we can go again. I mean, if you have, if you have a slightly heavier bar, or you can put a couple of little things on it, you're not gonna be offended. I'm not saying use up an extremely heavy bar for this, but definitely if you've got maybe you can have a couple of kilos. You don't have to, practice is what we're here for in this first part. Okay, then last round. 10 seconds. Three, two, one, and go. Deadlifts. Keep it, keep it on your shin, David. You don't need to go all the way down. That's a very small plate you've got. Hold it, anyway. Your shoulders are too far back, David. Push, push them forward a bit. No, 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 no. Like as in the whole body forward. Move the whole body forward, lean forward. That's it, that's the one.
Okay, we're about to go to the power snatch. Three, two, one, let's go. Punch quickly up. Better. Punch, 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 quick, quick, quick. Good, focus on speed, guys. Come on. Hips and punch. Hips. <laughs> Ah. And squats. And well done. Rest there. Good. Little snatch refresher. I'm now going to um, explain the next part. Okay. So, running clock. Okay. But you might want to write down. Like Darius doing it. I mean, this is not something terribly complicated, but. So, running clock, zero to six, okay, six to 12, 12 to 18, and 18, 24. So it's gonna be a round of six minutes, basically. In the first round, you're gonna do 15, 12, nine of hand clean and jerk and burpees over the object and you can rest for the remainder of the six minutes if there's any 15 12 9 hand clean and jerk perfect over from minute six to minute 12 same reps okay it's always going to be 15 12 9 for the whole thing so you can maybe write down write this one time and it's going to be snatch and overhead squats. From minute 12 to minute 18, it's gonna be renegade rows and mountain climbers. And minute 18 to minute 24, a little bit of a cardio boost, which is tuck jumps and V-ups. I am now going to show you the eight movements, actually, that are in this Metcon. So, a hand clean and jerk. I would say if you have a dumbbell, it's probably the best, the most practical thing to do today. So, take it up first, then clean, jerk, swap. Clean, chair, squat, and so on. Then you reach the number. Then burp is over, obviously. It's always uh, harder to face the thing, but for room reasons or for whatever reason you want, you can do the burp jumping over the swing. And then snatch. Floor, go overhead. Swap, you do with a bar, it's a full power snatch, okay? So it's always ground, over head, all the time, okay? All the time to the ground with a snatch, it's not hand. And over it squat, whether you got dumbbell to do it, okay? Whether you do it with the barbell, pull, up to you, but good form or at squats. Then renegade rows. We have done them yesterday as well. So two dumbbells, easy. One red is push up, pull, pull, push up, 
Oh, oh, that be two reps. Okay. You have one dumbbell. Okay. Fine. You can do it this way. Uh, so I would do maybe uh, something like one pull swap, one pull swap. So it's going to be slightly faster, but make sure that the dump, the weight of the dumbbell accounts for something quite heavy. So you're going to actually do half of the pulls, but if you have it like a heavier dumbbell, it's going to still be a very good workout. Um, and mountain climbers, easy to stay in a plank position. Try not to wait with too much of your hips. Then tuck jumps, it's a big jump where you want to tuck your knees towards your chest. Okay, and V ups, obviously, we're not experts in V ups. Okay, all we want to make sure is, is that we reach as high as possible with our shoulders. Okay, shoulders up when we do it rather than legs up. Okay, so it's over 15, 12, 9. You might not always reach the amount of reps within six minutes. It's up to you if you want to have a little rest. Uh, anyway okay so i would actually recommend this so don't get to the end of the six minutes when maybe still a couple reps to do you really want to do it and then you go straight into the next section with no rest okay so always at least 15 20 seconds to catch your breath i really recommend it okay but anyways let's see when we get to the point so Actually, I'm going to set a clock counting up, 24 minutes, okay. Are we ready? First six minutes, hand clean and jerks, burpees over 15, 12, 9. 10 seconds. And go. Good. Lovely. Come on. So we're at the 15 burpees right now. Remember that when you grab the weight again, it's going to be 12 and then 9. Brilliant, back to work for 12s, come on.
or not even halfway for the time, well, for the time round for this section. So if you work hard, you're gonna have, I would say maybe a good night of rest or even more. Come on. Really good. Very good pace, guys. All of you, come on. Don't give up. Back to work. Get this done, day one. You're gonna enjoy some rest. Awesome, guys. Well done. That's a minute of rest to go. So, the next part is snatching over at squats. Now, obviously, the the ways that you use for the two movements can be different. I understand that. And uh, depending which one you feel stronger in, this is obviously it's usually the snatch, but I'll leave you the choice. What I really care about is that your overhead squats are obviously a good rep, as in respecting the standard of going down to parallel or below parallel and making sure that your arm or arms are straight, okay? You bend your arms, you maybe need a lighter weight or a different kind of weight, okay? Now, big breath, because we've got 15 seconds, actually 10 now, starting with snatch, 15, 12, nine, snatch and overhead squat. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one, go. That's great, Helena, well done. Very good, Colleen, nice. Awesome, Davey, good, come on. Straight arm. Guys, got plenty of time, so focus on your technique, please. Okay, just take the squats for granted. That's wonderful. 
Good job. Come on, punch, punch, punch. Okay. 12 reps. Let's do it. Snatch step. Your snatch technique is actually getting better as you go. Good. Still have three ish minutes. We're kind of halfway. Our rounds get shorter. Come on. Come on, Dave, you can do better than this. Push it up. That's better. Come on, up, up, up. One and a half minutes. Okay, so we've got 30 seconds before the next part. You can decide to rest here, which wouldn't be a bad idea. So, renegade rows and mountain climbers. So mountain climbers will go in a second. Okay, okay so the main part here is renegade rows. So one push up and one pull each arm will do one rep, okay? Four, three, two, one, go. Part three, section three.
Very good job, all of you. A little lower with your hips, Naomi, come on. There. We're at the 15 minutes mark. You really have tons of time to finish this. Keep working those push-ups. Don't give it up guys, can potentially get quite a lot of rest here. Okay, so this is 30 seconds to go. I would say if you need to rest, rest. Or if you want to keep going, we only have one section to go. Up to you. Don't say it, didn't say it. So next one's gonna be tag jumps and V ups. Okay. I want to see good tuck jumps. Don't care if you're tired. Three, two, one, up, big jumps. Very good. That's really good, guys. All of you. Well done. 
15 reps and then be ups. Mon, straight into it. This is like a two minutes job. Knees up, knees up, knees up, come on, good. Spring them up. And then we up, so here we'll be done, guys. How simple is that? Good job. Good job. Okay. So catch your breath. You only have a little bit of accessory work to go through. Nothing terrible. Okay. As I said, it's all about so snatch related today if you want. Okay, mainly snatch related. So, here's the accessory work. You can use as much weight as you want, okay, but you will need a barbell shaped thing. And what we're gonna do is four supersets of eight zone press and eight high push-ups as tight as possible, okay? So, zone press is snatch grip, okay, so wide. Go into a squat position, a perfect squat position. So you stay up here. One, two, three, up to eight reps. Okay. Followed by eight high push-ups. Or so you decide that you can do just three. Eight, five, three, okay. Or you can have your feet on as high as you want, on a box, on the couch, or on anything. So eight and eight, little rest for four times. I won't time it, okay, I won't be setting my time cups or anything like this, but try not to rest for like too much, because it should be a bit of a shoulder burn. When you're ready, guys. Got to be here until whatever time, so it's fine. Okay, wide grip. Mm -hmm. First of all, set a nice posture on your squat. You go down into that squat, you have to hold a solid position. 
okay, we're not relaxed into the hips. And then press eight times. Good. Eight, five push-ups. Trying to good, have as much body weight as you can on your arms rather than your legs. Really good, Davey. Well done. For as much as possible, guys, try to keep your elbows under the bar rather than behind the bar. Really good. I've got such a suffering face going. It's like somebody's killing you there. How many times, Val? Four times.
Oh, 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 yeah, yeah. Everything okay there? Everybody done? Brilliant, guys. Well done.